Today, I'm going to cover going out with Home Assistant. No, that's not right. I'm going to cover making Home Assistant do things when you go out. Was that right? So when you leave the house, it does stuff. And when you come back to the house, it does stuff. And it works every time. So let's roll the credits and get into it. So let's talk about going outside. Um, for those hardcore IT people, the graphics are so much better outside and you get to interact with real people but nothing about you so going outside and getting home assistant to see whether you're outside or not well i'd love to say that with one of these that's all you need got the back of my phone's dirty um is all you need for home assistant to know you're outside so how does home assistant with one of these know that you're outside well it uses this thing called gps now gps is a bunch of satellites and there's 31 of them up now you only need 24 to cover the whole world but we've got a few spares and what the satellites do is they send out the time and the location so they say it's 20 past 2 and I'm here and when your phone gets three possibly four of them depends whether it's new or not your phone can then work out it kind of puts bits of string between them and it can work out where it is it can do it within a 10 meter area which is quite big the only problem is is you need to be able to see the satellites which i can't because i'm in the house i've got a drone up there but i don't think that counts um so that's one of the problems you need to see the satellites the other problem is if it's getting radio signals all the time and it keeps wanting to work it all out it's going to drain the battery so the biggest problem with um getting your location with one of these is one of these the people that make these, whether they're Samsung um, phones or any Android phones or any idiot phone, the phone doesn't like running down its battery. So it only gets its location wherever it wants it. Now you can do lots of clever stuff and kind of make it um, work, um, but the phone is its own worst en enemy because it kind of gets it wrong the other problem is that phones can be switched off and switched back on again and they can have their wi-fi and their power and all sorts of stuff fiddled with so gps kind of works um I'll do a little demo later um, to show you how to do it. So that's GPS. Other ways of doing it are kind of uh, saying when you're going out and when you're coming back in again. So let's switch to demo mode and I'll show how to use GPS to start off with. So, first of all, how does it track us? If we go to settings, 
and people, you should find um, your account because you've logged on as it. At the same time, it will list any devices that have got the companion amp installed and you can assign the device to the person. Easy as that. So it's relying on the device to uh, to say where you are. What you then need to do is settings, automations and scenes, create a new automation, add a trigger, time and location, zone. When an entity leaves the zone, so when wrong words on porpoise enters home, add an action device could be anything. Find the light, Martin. Send myself a mail, I can do all sorts of stuff, but I can't find a bloody light. There we go. There's the light. Turn off the light. Save. Um, movement automation. Oh. Easy as that. Quite happy. But. I'll show pictures now of me wandering around in the street on a blisteringly hot day getting my head sunburnt this is what I do for you um, trying to figure out why it's not updating and as you can see it's not updating it did update eventually um, but GPS was being a pain um, and that's the problem with this is you're relying on a device on a device to say where you are and most of the time it works and sometimes it just doesn't and it's a bit of the updating it's a bit of me switching the phone off it's a bit of um uh, android in my case um, going oh you don't want to do that you don't want to have tracking on that and switching it off so I'd recommend you try it but don't do dangerous stuff so uh, do not do when wrong words on porpoise leaves the house switch on the mines and the traps and release the tigers because you'll die and when you come back you'll also die because it won't switch them off either it seems to be very delayed so that's GPS what else could you do well there are other ways of doing things um, you could go when your phones on the Wi-Fi which again works quite well until your battery's flat and then nothing works um, or until you can't um, you've, you've, you've switched your Wi-Fi off because you were trying to save battery and you forget to switch it back on again um, you can do lots of clever stuff but you seem to be fighting against the technology to make it happen so GPS kind of works I'd recommend you give it a go and in the comments tell me how you do it because I've not had any really good success with what's going on here so that's one way we can do it when you're coming kind of in or out so you could use a voice assistant to do it uh, Alexa we're going out lasers mines and pointy sticks will activate in one minute so that's one thing you could do um, 
uh, the issue with it is, is you need a voice assistant that understands. Um, I, I'm not sure I'd trust Google Home because it would be switching it on all the time. Um, and uh, it, it'll work, but you just have to remember to do it. The other things are kind of buttons you press or devices you scan. Um, so you could have a button by the door that you press to come in and you double press to come out. Um, or the other thing that I'm going to talk about, which is NFC tags. Now, NFC tags are these type things. And um, Home Assistant is all set up to use them. And they come in tagged like things like this. And you can also get them in stickers. Lasers, mines and pointy sticks are now active. Sorry, I have to say very still now. Alexa, we're home. Lasers, mines and pointy sticks deactivated. It's now safe to move around. Oh, thank God for that. Right, so I was talking about um, NFC um, tags. Now, NFC... Um, uh, has been around for a fair while it was actually uh, invented in Russia um, uh, the Russians presented in the American Embassy a um, a gift and inside it were RFID tags and this was their kind of proper first use because what they do is by themselves there isn't really anything there but you you send a signal to them it uses the power of that signal to send it back so uh, the russians were getting information out of american embassy by using this because you can't scan for them because they're not sending all the time they're not like normal radios but at certain times the russians would send the signal in and send it back again so you get lots of um, rfid tags uh, like the nfc ones that i mentioned um, in the UK, things like Oyster cards that uh, give you access to London Underground. Lots of the the door systems where you've got a card to go into your office is an NFC tag. Um, and they're all uh, there's lots of different types of security that they they can use. And even um, your credit card is an NF NFC tag. Um, and they're really small. Um, if you look at your credit card, the actual chip is really, really small. So uh, I have heard of people that have uh, taken apart their Oyster card and put the RFID tag on the end of a magic wand and wave the magic wand to go through things. OK, so let's go through um, use cases of NFC tags, kind of setting them up in Home Assistant. Just interrupting uh, the video because I'm really thirsty. It's been hot in the UK. I'm just making myself a cup of tea. Uh, I, I bet I just uh, ask. Um... Would you like a cup of tea? So in the companion app, you need to go to settings, tags, and say add a tag. So the uh, tag we're going to do is going out. And what we want to do is create and write and it's created the tag what we can then do uh, we can do this on the phone or we can do it on um, because you can create um, an automation Select create automation when the tag is scanned. Click add an action device. Wow. 
find something that can do something that'll do click save tag going out is saved click rename I'm now going to swap back to the computer um, because it's easier to do so we go to settings automations and scenes and tag going out is scanned and it's really just setting up whatever you want so i turned off the light here but you could go uh, uh dogs be good message or dogs don't bark or dogs protect the house from burglars you can hope for all those things it probably won't happen the automation will run but the dogs won't do it um you can also make it um have extra conditions so when the tag is scanned and it's daylight you could make it do different things so that's kind of the the automation here you then do the same thing for a different tag to say i'm coming home so let's give um let's give an example of this so i've got turn off the light um we could um no so i think that's a, a good use case so um what we'll do now is i'll kind of wrap things up so you've got lots of different ways to cover when you're going out you've got using the uh, gps on your phone where you're going in and going out it kind of works but you're fighting against google or apple where it's trying to make the phone um stop tracking and uh, only use battery where it needs and you've also got people switching off their phones and uh, my phone does amazing things like look, look this, this has got lots of rights should i take them away and if you click yes it's going to be a problem so you've got that you've got talking straight to alexa which is okay um you've got um nfc tags which which i kind of like um the issue with nfc tags is they need the companion app to load so uh you need the app on the phone to scan them and actually make it happen um but hopefully everybody that's in your house has got the app um i'm looking for the next video to do what what to do when your mum comes to stay which requires a new set of things to to deal with okay so that's it um uh, if you could like and subscribe that would be great and i'll see you on the next one unless you want to watch these two